In this video, we will see some examples based on the third numerical method, which is the newton raphson method. This is the newton raphson formula or the Newton's iteration formula xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn upon f dash of xn. Find the root of x raised to 4 minus x minus 9 is equal to 0 using newton raphson method. So here f of x is equal to x raised to 4 minus x minus 9. And finding out d by dx of f of x, which is f dash of x, it will be equal to 4x cube minus 1. Now, f of 1 comes out to be minus 9 and f of 2 is equal to 5. So here f of 1 is less than 0 and f of 2 is greater than 0, which means that the root will lie between 1 and 2. So taking x, equal, x 0 equal to 2 and finding out our first iteration. So x1 will be equal to x0 minus f of x0 upon f dash of x0. So here f of x0 that is f of 2 and f dash of x0 which means f dash of 2. So f of 2 we have found out which is 5 and f dash of 2 will be 4 into 2 cube minus 1 which comes out with 31. So here x1 is equal to 1.8387. Now using this value we'll find our second iteration which is x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 upon f dash of x1. So f of 1.8387 and f dash of 1.8387. So from this 1.8392 is equal to x2 and using this we find our third iteration. In the same way we have found out the fourth iteration. So from now the third and the fourth iteration that is x3 and x4 are same up to three decimal places which means that the root of our equation will be 1.813. Now taking second example. Derive the iteration formula for root n and find root 28. So here x will be equal to root n squaring both sides we get x square minus n is equal to 0 so f of x is equal to x square minus n. Finding out d by dx of f of x, we get f dash of x is equal to 2x. So, as we know, xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn upon f dash of xn. So, placing f of xn equal to x square minus n and f dash of xn as 2xn. We get xn square plus n upon 2xn, which is the iteration formula for square root of n. Now using this formula, we'll find out the square root of 28. So n is equal to 28 and f of x will become x square minus 28. Finding out f of 5 which comes out to be minus 3 and f of 6 is equal to 8. Taking x0 is equal to 5 and placing in this equation that is xn plus 1 is equal to x n square plus n upon 2xn. So our first iteration will be x0 square plus 28 divided by 2x0. So as we have taken x0 is equal to 5, it will be 5 square plus 28 divided by 2 into 5, which comes out to be 5.3. Now same way, for 5.3, we'll find out the second iteration. So 5.3 square plus 28 divided by 2 into 5.3. Same way, the third iteration. From second and the third iteration, x2 and x3 are same up to four decimal places which means the square root of 28 will be 5.2915. Now, next example. Derive the iterative formula for kth root of n, where n is a positive number, and find out cube root of 24. So here we will have x is equal to kth root of n. So x raised to k will be equal to n which is x raised to k minus n is equal to 0. This will be f of x. So finding out f dash of x which becomes k x raised to k minus 1. Now again using the formula xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn upon f dash of xn. As we have f of xn equal to xn raised to k minus n and f dash of xn as k xn raised to k minus 1. So from this by solving we are getting xn raised to k into k minus 1 plus n divided by k into xn raised to k minus 1. 
now finding out the cube root of 24 so here we had kth root of n and now we have to find out the cube root of 24 which means n will be equal to 24 and k will be equal to 3 so f of x will be equal to x cube minus 24 finding out f dash of x which is 3x square so here we we find out f of 2 which comes out to be minus 16 and f of 3 is equal to 3 so f of 2 is less than 0 and f of 3 is greater than 0 which means that the root will lie between 2 and 3 so x naught is equal to 3 now xn plus 1 is equal to xn cube into 3 minus 1 plus 24 divided by 3 xn square this is the formula that we have got xn raised to k into k minus 1 plus n divided by k into xn raised to k minus 1 so here our k will be 3 so 3 minus 1 plus 24 divided by 3 xn square now finding out our first iteration and placing xn as x0 will get 2 x0 cube plus 24 divided by 3 x0 square so x0 is equal to 3 placing 3 here we get the value of x1 using this value we'll find out our next iteration that is 2 into 2.888 cube plus 24 divided by 3 into 2.888 square and same way we'll find out the third iteration so from this we can say that x2 and x3 are same so the cube root of 24 is 